guys, I'm Allison. I'm really glad you're here today. Uh, today is Saturday and I have another, um, well, <laughs> truth be told, it's not Saturday when I'm filming this. It's actually Tuesday, but I'm pre-filming because I'm going to be um, at school um, on the Saturday, so I won't be able to film my regular Saturday get ready with me this well, what would be last Saturday? <laughs> anyway, it's confusing. It's confusing me. So we're just going to go ahead and get into what I'm actually going to be doing today. And I'm going to get ready, but I'm going to do a first impressions of the ColourPop Kathleen Lights Zodiac Palette. I know this has been out forever, but I just picked it up, like, recently. So the outer box is adorable. The packaging as a whole is adorable. It's got, you know, the shades on the back of the box and then all the zodiac images throughout the box and the palette itself mirrors the box except the box I think is black and I think I remember her talking about this and the palette itself is like a really deep blue. It's really pretty with that rose gold. And then this whole backside is a mirror. I'm actually, there's a cover on the mirror. Oh, and it's a nice mirror. I just took the cover off. So I think what I'm gonna do is swatch all the eyeshadows um, and then get ready. So here we go. Okay, so I have a plan of what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to take, you know, the kind of the two matte shades, which are the, the Libra and the Taurus, and then I'm going to take the Cancer because I have to because I am a Cancer. I was born in July, and then I'm going to use the Sagittarius in the outer third, and then I'm going to use these two for a pop of color on the lower lash line. So hopefully... It all turns out well. I'm just grabbing my notebook here because I wrote down some stuff that I wanted to talk about today. I also need my phone because I have notes in my phone um, from these topics. And okay. And so here we go. I need to zoom you in. Okay, we ready now. So I'm just priming my eyes. I will tell you what I'm doing in this video um, as I talk about stuff as well. Okay, so the first thing I thought I would talk about is um, I've seen some videos going around lately of people talking about nine brands they want to try in 2019. And I don't know if I have nine here. I think I might have eight, but that's okay. Benefit um, Goof Proof Brow. I'm in shade three. Um, so I was pretty, like I had some other brands on my list and then I realized, oh, I have like one thing of, from this brand. So I was pretty like cutthroat. Like I don't have anything from any of these brands that I want to try in 2019. So the first one is Ofra. I can't believe I don't have at least one highlighter from Ofra. Some of their palettes have intrigued me, like their highlighting palettes um, and just some of their highlighters in general look really pretty. I've just never gotten around to trying that brand. 
So there's one brand. Um, another brand I want to try is Charlotte Tilbury. I have wanted to try the blushes for years. Um, I don't know why I haven't just bought in a blush, but I have not, probably because of the price tag. And there was other makeup I wanted more. So, Charlotte Tilbury. I'd also tr be interested in trying a lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury and maybe even a lip liner, even though I like never use lip liners. Sorry, I have to concentrate on this brow for a second. Um, and then I want to try Melt. Um, I really hope that they come back with the Gemini palette because I'm super interested in that. And also the Smoke Sessions palette. Those shades just looked really, really pretty. I thought I had heard somewhere that they would be back with both of those palettes in 2019. They just sold out so quickly. And I don't, I don't know enough about the company to know, like, did they just not make enough? Or are they just not, you know, able to make that much? You know, they're kind of just kind of hitting the scene, it feels like, from what I can tell. I mean, I know those stacks have been around for a long time, and people say they're really good quality. But personally, I don't care for the stacks packaging. Um, so I've never purchased any of those. Okay, it is time to start in on the eyes. So I'm going to take a Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the JH32. And I'm going to go into the Libra first. And I'm just going to start building that up in my crease. Um, okay, so I want to try Thrive and Glossier. I've been really interested in those cloud paints for a long time. And then Davina Cosmetics, uh, they have a palette that I um, thought I was going to purchase and then saw that it was sold out. So I asked them if they were bringing it back on Instagram. They got back to me the same day. I think they're a brand out of Northern California. And they said yes, they will be bringing it back. So when they do, I plan to get my hands on that. It's like the Secret Harmonies palette, I think. Um, and then um, Blush Tribe. Um, and actually, I am. I know I'm going to be trying Blush Tribe in 2019 because I ordered um, two palettes from there. I just finally bit the bullet and ordered the Paulina Beauty palette, and I ordered the Hasina too, and I'm so excited to get those. I think it's going to take a while. Seems like shipping is going to take about, oh gosh, probably almost a month because it's a UK indie brand. So it has to come overseas. Um, and I have ordered, when I used to order Tanya Burr Cosmetics, I don't even know if Tanya Burr Cosmetics is still a thing, but um, it would take a long time to get here. Okay, I'm going to go into Taurus and just start working that into the crease as well. So those are the um, eight brands I want to try in 2019. Um, I'm sure there's probably more and I just don't know yet. I'm su I'm really getting into any makeup. Uh, and I think... I think I said this already in another video, but that's my prediction for 2019, that indie makeup will be huge, and also I think colorful makeup is going to be popular. Not that it's not already, but 
yeah. Um, okay. So when you see this, which I think will be, yeah. So for me, it won't be, when I'm filming this, you won't see this, um, this Saturday, it'll be next Saturday for me because I already have this Saturday's video uploaded. So ready to go. Um, but um, last Saturday, so when you're seeing this, last Saturday, I went to um, orientation for my master's program. Um, I, as of right now, as I'm sitting here, I'm nervous. Um, I have to drive three hours to get there and there's another girl in my town who is doing the program as well but I need to reach out to her um, and see if she wants to uh, ride together so okay um, but right now I'm I'm just nervous I'm I know it'll go fine but it's just you know it's just the unexpected I'm taking the JH41 and I'm going to go into the Sagittarius and start working that in the outer third of my lid. Um, ooh, that's pretty. So, school has started. I have started like reading the coursework. Um, we're supposed to have like a class on Zoom uh, this week tomorrow so I have that going on um, it's just you know it's just like nerve-wracking like a change um, but it's a good change it's something I've wanted to do for many years now so I'm happy I'm finally doing it Um, but yeah, I just have no idea what to expect. So, I'm just going to kind of blend a little bit. And I'm going to have to layer this. I think I don't even need to blend. Um because I'm going to layer a product over. Like I'm going to layer a shimmer shade over the edge of this. So that kind of does the work for me. But I want this to be pretty pigmented out there. Okie dokie. So I'm going to go in with the Cancer and this is what I'm going to put in the inner third of my lid. and kind of halfway and then I'm going to put a color right in between those two shades. I've really been enjoying doing my makeup like this as of late. Um, so I kind of end up having three shades on my lid and I just think it looks pretty. Okay. Which one do I want to use? Do I want to use the Gemini? Do I want to use the Leo? No, I think the Gemini. I'm going to take the Gemini and I'm just going to pat that. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to pat that between those two shades. Mm, that's pretty. I like that. So something that kind of like in a way relates to school and teenagers and girls just in general and kind of YouTube culture is um, something that just annoys me on the YouTube platform. YouTube? YouTube? You guys know about YouTube, right? It's all the rage. YouTube is, I am so sick of, I'm just going back into 
the Sagittarius and deepening that up a little bit and kind of lightly blending between the Sagittarius and the Gemini. Um, but anyway, I am really sick of the trend of girls and YouTubers and people in general using the term, if you have, if you have little ones watching for some reason, I'm about to say some swear words, okay? So just warning you. Um, I'm sick of people using the term bitch as like a term of endearment for each other. I don't like it. I don't like the whole like when you're like excited about something that whole like bitch like mm -mm. I don't like it. I don't think it's cute. I'm just going back into the Taurus and kind of blending through my crease again. And then I'm going to go back into the Libra. Yeah, I don't, I just don't like it. I wish it would stop. And there's nothing against swearing. Because little fun fact about me, <laughs> maybe you won't think it's fun, but I love to swear. I don't typically swear in my videos because... Um, I don't know how people take it, but in real life, I love a good F-bomb. It's just like, <laughs> for me, it's like a release, like if you're feeling stressed inside, instead of doing something like, I don't know, some people box, some people, you know, I, I use swear words and it makes me feel better. It's just like, I don't know, a good a good swear word sometimes it just makes me feel like real least inner tension but so I, I don't but I don't swear on YouTube or I try not to um okay I'm gonna start working on my lower lash line and I'm gonna take a pencil brush from MAC and the Aquarius and I'm gonna keep this on the outer kind of well halfway in actually that's what we're going to do. Halfway in. And it looks like I'm going to have to kind of build this shadow up a bit, but that's okay. I'm glad it's not like super pigmented because it's a, such a bright shade. I don't want like to go in like so with some crazy pigmented blue and then have to like really work to blend it out. Um... But yeah, I don't like it when teenagers use it as a term of endearment. I just don't think, or like when people call their girlfriends their bitches, like, I, I don't like it. I don't understand. That's, I guess I don't have anything else to say about that other than I wish it would stop for their, all things good and holy. <laughs> I'm just wiping that pencil brush off because I'm going to go into the Pisces and I'm going to run that on the inner third and try not to cover up my face. What's that, um, isn't it from a movie? If you guys call each other bitches and hoes, that makes it okay for boys to call you bitches and hoes. Like, that's kind of my thinking on the whole using the term bitch. Okay, I've said that word enough times in this video. I'm going to try not to say it again. We're moving on to a new, more positive topic, and I'm so excited to talk about this topic because it is my favorite bands or albums of 2019. So I got to find my notes. Here they are. Okay. So let's just kind of start 
at the bottom. Okay, so one of my friends and I went to see, I'm going to do mascara. We went to see um, Ray LaMontagne. This is a it cosmetic superhero. Um, in, I think, June. Um, this summer. And it was an awesome night. The show itself was okay. I typically like Ray LaMontagne's older music. And he just played a bunch of his newer stuff. I like the really sad mopey Ray LaMontagne songs. Um, he didn't play any of those. He didn't play Shelter. He didn't play Jolene. Just uh, anyway. Um, but so we had about a four hour car ride both ways. One way. No, one way. So we were in the car for like eight hours within like about a 36 hour time frame. Um, and my friend Georgia had been telling me about this band that she really likes for a while and I'd never really given them a solid listen until that car ride and I fell freaking in love with them and it's Angus and Julia Stone their brother and sister from Australia and now all I want is to see them play live um but yeah, I really love one of their, their newest album, I think it is. Okay, it's time for foundation. So I'm going to use, actually I'm going to use my It Cosmetics brush today. And my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation in Fair. Um, another album, or band really, more that I loved. Because they didn't put out an album this year. They put out it like an EP, but the Lone Bellow, I saw them twice this summer, once at Codfish Hollow, which I've done vlogs about going to Codfish Hollow a few times in the past because I freaking love Codfish Hollow. It's one of the best music venues I've ever been to. It's literally in the middle of nowhere in the country in Iowa. It's a converted barn on a working farm. No joke. Like, they clear out the cows for parking when there's a show. Um, and um, I saw Codfish Hollow, or I saw, I saw um, the Lone Bellow at Codfish Hollow. I also saw Joseph at Codfish Hollow. I'm going to use my Josie Marin Vibrancy Concealer under my eyes. Um, and then I saw the Lone Bellow at the Iowa State Fair, which is, you know, one of my favorite things to do, places to go in the summer, because it's so sentimental and nostalgic for me. I grew up going to the Iowa State Fair. My husband and I had our first date at the Iowa State Fair. And the bummer about the Lone Bellow playing at the Iowa State Fair this year was that Darwin couldn't go with me to the show because he had baseball. He had a baseball game. So he had to coach that night. And I'm going to set my under eye with the Smashbox Cali Contour Kit, this powder here, that I've hit major pan on. Um, but anyway, so I ended up going with my mom, which was fun, and my one of my good friends, Heather, and then my friend Georgia met us there. Um, and we had a blast. And... They're just one of my favorite bands. And they put out an EP that has a song called The Restless on it, which is amazing. And also, oh my god, Power Over Me. Oh, that song is so good. So, so good. This was the It Cosmetic Celebration Foundation in light, just to kind of lightly set my... 
foundation. And then it's time for some bronzer. I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna and look. <sighs> Slowly but surely, I mean, she's really hanging in there. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, and, but a band that I found out because of the Lone Bell, it's not a band, it's this one singer. Um, she opened for them a few times. Courtney Marie Andrews. Oh, her voice is so strong and powerful. And she kind of reminds me a little bit of Dolly Parton in a way. Um, but she has this song, May Your Kindness Remain, that's beautiful and so important. So, or such an important message to hear. And then... Um, rough around the edges. I love that song too. Okay, I gotta keep moving here. Dermot Kennedy, I really loved. Um, this in 2018, Tall Heights, I saw them. And then because I saw Tall Heights, Francis Cohn opened for Tall Heights. And Francis Cohn, oh my gosh, I just want all the good things for her because she's so good. So good. She's got an incredible voice. I'm going to do the Jouer Adore Me blush. And she's got a new song out called Late Riser. Um, and then I love Taylor Swift. It's some pop stuff this year. I love Taylor Swift. Um, I think that came out in 2017, but I listened to it a lot in 2018. Um, Sean Mendez. Ooh, he's coming to Iowa in June. I can't wait for that. Brandy Carlisle. I'm going kind of from top, you know, bottom to top. I loved all these, but like Brandy Carlisle is in a class of her freaking own. That album, by the way, I forgive you. Um, ugh, stunning. Um, she's nominated for six Grammys, well overdue and well deserved. Um, I really want to use for highlight. Okay, well this is the. Oh nope, I can use this. I'll use this. I haven't used this for a while. The Laura Mercier highlight matte radiance, big highlight. Um. Uh, and then I can't not talk about my favorite musical release of 2018, which was none other than how rude my camera cut me off in the middle of me talking about my favorite release of 2018. But it's the long awaited Mumford and Sons album Delta. Even talking about that album kind of makes me cry a little bit. I'm just going to go actually go back in and kind of like try and deepen up some of what I've done here. Um, I just want more of a mobbiness through my crease, I think. So, yeah. Delta is like my favorite album maybe of all time you know I'm not dead yet so I don't you know Mumford and Sons is definitely my favorite band of all time but like who knows what they're gonna come out with next since they did that amazing album um, Delta I just, I like listened to it for the first time when I was working out and I cried on the treadmill. I know that sounds really dramatic, but I did. It's so beautiful. It's just such an amazing album. And... We're going to go see them in March in Wisconsin. I am very excited. Um, and yeah, those are my favorite albums of 2018. 
Okay. I'm at a good place now where I can kind of stop talking a little bit here and go ahead and apply my lashes. Oh, there's the other one. It's like, where'd the other one go? It's, <laughs> it was stuck to the top of the case. Lashes make such a difference. Okay, I'm going to pop on some lips here really quick, and I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Color Riche Varnished Rosewood. <sighs> just because it's like sitting right on my desk, and I just want something neutrally to not compete too much with the eyes. I'm going to pop a little bit of bronzer, just whatever was left on that brush on my nose. And then I think I want to do something on my lash line, though I can't decide what yet on like my waterline because I think it'll make these colorful shadows pop a little bit more and I really want them to pop a little bit more because they're, it's really pretty. So I think I'll just grab um, this Marc Jacobs plumage oh, I can feel that lash popping up You gonna play nice today? You're not, are you? How rude. <sighs> okay. Well, you can see what I do here when my lash decides to do that. I'm just literally taking a little bit of glue and being like, trying to be so careful and just putting that on my like right where the lash is and I'll let that dry down for a second or 30 and then I'll try and pop that back into place hopefully these lashes might need to um go because I've used them quite a bit and they just on their last I'm just kind of pushing that lightly down into place. Okay, I think, I think she's back down. See how that kind of made those lower lash shadows pop a little bit more? At least I think it did. Oh, sorry, I'm covering up the camera. <sighs> Okay, this is super long, but first impressions, this one doesn't blend the greatest, um, but it worked for how I wanted it to. Maybe it was just the brush I was using, I don't know. These shimmers here are beautiful. These mattes are really nice for the crease. 
Um, and then I like these shades on the lower lash line. I'd be interested to see how this performs. I feel like this would perform like this one on the like for on the eyelid. Um, it seems like more of like you kind of have to pack it kind of shade than um, like a shade that'll blend out really nicely. Those are just my first impressions though. I think I'm going to pop a little bit of cancer into the inner corner there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's see how many did I use. So I used seven out of the 12 shades, so over half the palette, but I really do like how this look turned out, even though that, you know, there's, this one doesn't blend out the greatest. You could just kind of have to pack it on more and then not blend it. <laughs> um, but I really like how these two shades look together on the lower lash line. So, all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me. Ugh. Let me zoom you out. There we go. Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for letting me babble on and watching me babble on. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.